Sabai Di. We are Shashira and Navneet. We left home in May 2022 to explore this world full time with two backpacks and a lot of curiosity. After exploring Thailand, Vietnam and Cambodia in the last few months, we came to this magical country, Laos. This month, we're exploring beautiful nature, visiting old temples, jumping into blue lagoons and waterfalls, hiking up mind-blowing viewpoints, eating delicious street food, experiencing the local culture, riding on tuk-tuks and meeting wonderful people from around the world. And if you are wondering, is all this possible on a budget, you will definitely want to watch this series. So let's go! Hey guys! Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Today we are in a brand new country and that's Laos. If you haven't watched our last video about how we got into this country, you should definitely do it because it's it was one heck of a ride. <laughs> yeah. Today we are in Dondit, our first place here in Laos and we just rented our cycles in the morning, cycled through the island. We found a little bridge which was connecting Dondit Island to another island which is called Don Com Island. So we crossed the bridge and we came here and here we heard that there are two waterfalls which we are gonna go see now. Dondet is one of the bigger islands here in this region. So actually this entire place is called uh, Sifon Don, which means 4,000 islands. So there are 4,000 riverine islands here on this river and this river is called Mekong. Mekong is like the lifeline of Southeast Asia. Uh, the river actually originates in China and from Tibet and then it flows down all the way through China, Myanmar, Thailand, uh, Laos and then goes into Cambodia before reaching Vietnam and near Ho Chi Minh City it empties into the South Sea uh, through the Mekong Delta. So it's really an incredible place because uh, you can you can see how important this river is for the locals here. Uh, the World Bank estimates it's worth a few billions of dollars. Just the fishing industry alone is worth over nearly 19 billion dollars or so. So you can imagine how much of an impact it has. It's also used for a lot of trade. However, in Laos, because of the huge number of islands here, the rock, the bedrock is so uneven. There are a lot of rapids and waterfalls because of which trade doesn't really happen by, you know, boat. Uh, however, that has resulted in a lot of tourist attractions and that's what we are here to see. We woke up in the morning, rented out two cycles. We had to pay 15,000 kip per cycle for the entire day. We just cycled from Dondet to Doncom. In fact, these are the only two islands here which are connected by a bridge. Built so, by the French when they had colonized this part. Yeah, so for any other island, we'll have to take a boat. So we are here at Doncom Island right now and the waterfall is just 400 meters away from here. So let's go check it out.
doesn't look very safe to cross the river here on foot. So we're going to go and try to find another viewpoint from where we can show you the waterfall. Look at the waterfalls, it's so big. Such a big rapid waterfall. Well, say hello, friend. Hello, we are on a tree house. The view of the waterfall from here is the best. The Leapy waterfalls are just one of so many incredible rapids that are there all around the 4000 islands and this comes to life especially during the monsoon season when the Mekong's flow is at its best. But as you can see the water's colour is not a very pleasant one, it's brown, it's strongly muddy and that is because most of the water that's flowing in from upstream has eroded a lot of the riverine sand. And here you can see that the force of the water is just so strong. Hope you enjoyed watching the waterfalls with us. So huge. It started raining. It's just begun raining and we can't cycle back into town. So we stopped here for some coconut. So the tender coconut costs us 10,000 kip, which is like around 50 rupees. And then we got this uh, banana, banana chips. tapioca chips, which is like 1,000 uh, kip. Sabari. Hello. Hello. Sabari. So 
we are now in front of a traditional French house. So if you don't know, Laos was colonized by the French the same way neighboring Vietnam and Cambodia were. All of this was part of Indochina. So a lot of the French villas have still remained even today. Some of them being converted to local houses, museums and like this one is now a hotel. Although it does look like it's been abandoned for a long time. Yet another French house, my friends. The entire school playground has got flooded with rainwater, but these kids are still going at it with their game. It's so much fun. This is one of our favorite things about Laos. It's just how simple life is for many people here. And Dondet is like at the very tip of this, you know. So you get to see the real Lao experience and it's uh, it's beautiful. Laos is in fact one of the poorest countries in the Southeast Asia region other than Myanmar. And uh, you might also say they're one of the happiest because of how simple life is. So if you ever get a chance to see Laos, don't lose it because it's a great opportunity to see life from a very different perspective. There's an old abandoned French railway train here that apparently came here as part of the Mekong expedition that lasted between 1866 and 1868. So even today this little rust bucket is sitting here in the middle of Doncom Island surrounded by weeds and water. So hope you enjoyed coming along on today's adventure in Don Det and Don Com. So tomorrow we're going to be heading to another new place and we're taking you along. So now we're just going to go grab some dinner and then rest for the night. With our new friends, look. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so see you day after. Bye. So Shish, mm. what's up? There's a dog sitting right there and I didn't move an inch. I'm sitting right in front of it, facing it, facing my fear. See how much I've grown. Proud of myself. They're looking at me only. Now me, please. What? <laughs> Hello doggy. Nicely, I have put my umbrella. No. Whoa, 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 traffic jam cleared. What's up, punk?